I was reading Steve Souter's post about capturing mobile waterfalls. I wanted to show what this looks like with Chrome and Chrome on Android. Uh, so first thing we need to do is set up remote debugging between the two. Um, and I'm going to load up this page at the same time. Thanks very much. Hop on over to my terminal. Let's see. Uh, devices. Yes. Am I connected? Yes. Uh, then we got this little mag magical incantation that you're just going to have in your bash history after you use it once. And then let's open up the dev tools in our browser. All right, so uh, we're looking at the mobile waterfalls page, and this is indeed uh, the page. My preview over here is a little delayed, so um, but I'm just going to add a uh, background so you can trust me on this one. All right, ooh, that looks phenomenal. All right, so let's capture a waterfall. Um, first things first, I'm going to open up the settings question mark. Nice little shortcut. Disable the cache, and then I'm going to come over to, to network. And if you just hit Command R, Control R while you're looking inside this remote thing, it's just going to refresh it on the device. Uh, so I just hit Command R, and you can see we are indeed connected to the network, um, to my mobile carrier, and this page is going to reload. Um, so we're getting an actual off the network through my carrier uh, load, and. Looks like we're still loading. Do, 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 chug, chug, chug. Uh, I'm losing some signal bars here because it's a little inside this building. I don't get the tower very well. Uh, all right, but here we go. All 483 kilobytes of stevesouders.com goodness. Um, got my full, full, full waterfall. Um, and the nice thing here is that I also have things like my full uh, headers on all uh, requests. So. I get the full picture, and um, I can save this out as a HAR file um, with all the content embedded, where I can go view that HAR file in another thing. Um, I just want to point out these are the, f the full dev tools, so I have a lot of capability here. So if I wanted to, say, for instance, add a little bit of unicorns to this site, uh, like so, or for instance, if I wanted to uh, evaluate <laughs> Uh, where my paints are happening, what la what layers are composited, and get a frame rate um, that I'm actually seeing on the site right now, I can do that too. Uh, so with the full dev tools, we have quite a bit of insight into the page load performance here and also the runtime performance. Um, and there's a lot to dig into. So I uh, hope that helped.